Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, my name is Marnie Hernandez, and today we are doing the certificate training on the U.S. Virgin Islands. Okay. Uh, the link to do the training today is under U.S. Virgin Islands Specialist.com. And it looks like there's three courses. Hopefully, we can finish them all today. Uh, so, what we will do is uh, go ahead and get started. Um, again, follow along if you're um, new with us. Usually, you will follow along on your phone, and then you can um, do the test. Uh, stay with us like on the phone through Zoom, but do the test online with us and that way you guys can get certified with us, okay? Uh, now, if you're just putting questions and stuff, uh, make sure guys, the chat box is open. So if you have questions, um, go ahead and put in the chat box. We're all here to help. If we're going too fast, too slow, again, let us know because we're here for you guys, okay? We're here to help you. Um, uh, grow with the business. Okay. I'm sorry. Can you hold on one moment? Hello, this is Marnie. Hi, this is Mindy with America First. Hi. Hey, um, we're just, uh, we've been Sorry guys, my friend was wiring money and that was the bank confirming. <laughs> Sorry, maybe they'll send you some money, just kidding. All right, looking for an email. All right, anyone need help registering? Perfect, okay, thank you guys all for helping. I appreciate it. All right, do to do. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Melissa, don't worry. Ask what questions you need in here, please. Um, um, again, guys, when you registered, since I did mine last week when I signed up for this, how long did it take you to get the email? Huh, I'm out of breath. Sorry. Did I got it about like 20 minutes after. 20 minutes. Maybe okay. not even that. Um, but I did, when I hit the sign up, I noticed that, um, so I entered in the information and everything, and then you know how you hit um, register or sign up or whatever. So I hit it once and it didn't take it was like an error code but then as soon as i pressed it again then it went through um okay and then i got the email so that might be something to keep in mind too okay so guys yeah and check your spam folder too guys all right um make sure also next week i think we're doing alaska so make sure you try to get logged in before so that way you know we'll be ready to go um so again, don't worry, we'll go ahead and get started, uh, but we will wait for you for the test. So don't worry. Um, so Melissa, let us know if you have any trouble and also anybody else, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with the first course, course one, it says uh, USVI specialist. So go ahead and click there. It's gonna take you into the introduction, okay? So again, I'll go ahead and start reading. There's seven pages. So again, you guys have time, just listen, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so welcome. It is a great pleasure that I welcome you to the US Virgin Islands Travel Agent Specialist and Loyalty Rewards Program. This program and course will familiarize you with our unique offerings that help distinguish our islands, St. Croix, St. John, and St. Thomas. As a top Caribbean destination, best of all, the U.S. Virgin Islands is a U.S. territory with no U.S. passports required for entry, making us America's Caribbean, okay? That's good to know, huh, guys? 
um, our unofficial slogan, Virgin Islands Nice, um, epitomizes that the USVI is all about. It refers not only to our pristine beaches and crystal clear blue waters, but also to our diverse culinary experiences, deep history, culture, and of course, our welcoming people. Each of these, our three islands, offers their own unique experiences. If you are looking for authentic Caribbean culture and history, you will enjoy exploring St. Croix, St. John with more than half its land protected by the Virgin Islands National Park. It is the perfect place for the outdoor escape. Lastly, Cosmopolitan St. Thomas offers top shopping, dining, and nightlife experiences. Okay, again, good to know, right? Uh, we developed this program with the understanding that travel professionals like you are invaluable, invaluable to our islands. And we are committed to giving you the right tools and resources you need to sell the USVI. This program will ensure this and be your best USVI resource, providing promotional offers, rewards, products, updates, and much more. Thank you for your interest in learning more about our territory. We look forward to making you and your clients feel at home in our Virgin Islands nights. Sincerely, Commissioner jo Joseph. All right, check your knowledge. <laughs> U.S. citizens already attest, oh my gosh, guys. Uh, U.S. citizens require a passport when traveling to the U.S. Virgin Islands. That is false, oh. not need one, correct? Okay, Melissa, again, don't worry, we got you covered. So it is correct. Perfect. All right. Thank you. All right. Next lesson. That was quick. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Fast facts. Geography. The USVI is part of the Lesser Antilles of the Caribbean. Is that how you pronounce it? I hope. <laughs> it is bordered by both the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean. It is made up of three main islands, St. Croix, St. John, and St. Thomas each a tropical paradise with their own personalities. St. Croix is the largest of the islands at 84 square miles, then St. Thomas at 32 square miles and St. John at 19 square miles. So which one's the biggest? St. Croix, okay? Remember that may be a test question. The capital is Charlotte um, Amali on St. Thomas. Population. The USVI's population's nearly tripled since 1960. Today, are, there are an estimated 56,200 people on St. Croix, 54,000 on St. Thomas, and only 4,400 on St. John. The Water Island population is approximately 200. All right, the weather offers year-round temperatures with an average of 77 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and 82 in the summer. Ooh, beautiful, huh? Time zone is the Atlantic Standard Time Zone, one hour ahead of Eastern Standard Time Zone, except during daylight savings time. During the spring and summer, the islands are on the same time zone as the East Coast. When the clocks fall back in autumn and winter, um, the USVI remains an hour ahead. Um, English is the main spoken language followed by Spanish and Creole. Many locals speak in distinct dialect as a result of the French, Danish, and Spanish influence on the destination. Currency, the US dollar is the currency used in the USBI, so there is no need for clients to change money. Most locations accept credit cards and traveler's checks. There are ATMs located throughout the islands. Electricity is 120 voltage. Um, area code is 340. Clients need to check with their individual cell phone companies about coverage. Callers are able to direct dial to the U.S. mainland. Clothing dress is typically casual, but bathing suits are worn only at the beach and pool with cover-ups requested when leaving those areas. Jackets and ties may be required at upscale restaurants. Accommodations. The USVI offers a selection of accommodations that include luxury hotels and resorts, bed and breakfast, small hotels, inns, villas, and campsites. Political history. Christopher Columbus discovered St. Thomas, St. John, and St. Croix in 1493, and since then the islands have been ruled in succession by the Spanish 
English, French, Knights of Malta, French for a second time, the Danish, and now USVI is a territory of the United States. The islands have been influenced by all past rulers, but especially during the 251 years of Danish reign, visitors will notice street, town, and area names, architecture, and former plantations influenced by their Danish history. And then government, the USVI is a territory of the US and USVI residents and um, our US citizens. Under the US Constitution, residents of unincorporated territories such as USVI do not vote in elections for a US president and vice president. Again, good to know. I'm learning something new every day. All right, well, this is kind of fun. We get a test each time. What makes traveling to the USVI so easy and desirable for your clients? Year-round temperatures, English, the main island, dollar currency, and standard US voltage. I would say all of the above. All of the above, yeah. Perfect. All right, next lesson. All right. So again, if you still need to catch up, guys, let us know if you need help with the question. MD Green, um, just let us know. Did you sign up and you're waiting for an email? Let us know. All right, ease of travel. Sorry, let me take a quick drink. Oh, you're sitting there? Yeah, what do you mean? I'm just finally my class and my thirsty. All right. So U.S. citizens get a hassle-free vacation when they travel to the USVI. No passport is required for U.S. citizens. Okay. All right, guys. So again, um, you know, make sure we're on the same test. And then also just we've only done two questions so far. So you can take a picture and that way you can go back and catch up. Okay. Um, so make sure you're on the first one, okay? When you do the drop down, there's the first one. Don't pick the one over to the left. All right, so English is the language spoken with the US dollar is the official currency. The same laws in the mainland US are also those found on the USVI. No passport is required. USVI is a United States territory. So traveling to the islands for US citizens is as easy as traveling Domestically, no passport is required for U.S. citizens arriving from Puerto Rico or the U.S. main island. Clients do need proof of citizenship, a birth certificate with, with a raised seal and a government issued valid form of identification to board flights upon departure. For the most up-to-date rules and regulations regarding travel to USVI for non-US citizens, visit the travel section of www.cbp.gov. Early require entry requirements for non-US citizens are the same as for entering the US from any foreign destination. Upon departure, a passport is required for all but US citizens, okay? Getting there, non-stop non service is available to St. Thomas from top getaways cities in the U.S., including Atlanta, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Charlotte, New York, Boston, Dallas, and Houston. The USVI can be reached from the U.S. mainland in as quickly as two and a half hours from Miami, three and a half from New York. Airlines that fly to USVI include American Airlines, Delta, JetBlue, Spirit, and United. Online check-in, just like when clients flying domestically, is even available. Inner island travel, okay? Traveling between each island for overnight or day trips can be done easily by ver via ferry or plane, allowing clients to enjoy three islands in one vacation. Only a government issued valid ID is required for travel among the USVI. Travel by plane is Seaborne Airlines and Cape Air operate air and seaplane shuttles between St. Thomas and St. Croix. Flights typically are as short as 25 minutes. Travel by ferry, there are a number of options for traveling by water between the islands with travel time at most 30 minutes. Passenger ferries between Red Hook and Charlotte, Amalie, St. Thomas, and Cruise Bay, St. John, 20 minutes. 
car barge service between Red Hook St. Thomas and Cruise Bay St. John, 30 minutes, and then the Water Island Ferry from Crown Bay St. Thomas to Water Island is 10 minutes. So on island travel, taxis are a good option to get around um, the island. They are stationed at the airports on St. Croix and St. Thomas. If clients want to explore on their own, rental car companies, including Hertz, Budget, and Avis are located at the airport on St. Thomas and St. Croix. Please let clients know that the USVI is the only location in the US where you will drive on the left side of the road. So that's kind of crazy because we went to Jamaica and that's how they were driving around. All right, what about cruising? Cruising USVI. Charlotte, Amali, St. Thomas is one of the most popular cruise ports in the Caribbean and is often included in Eastern Caribbean itineraries. St. Croix and E. Abramson Pier in Fredericksted can now accommodate some of the cruise line's um, largest ships following a $3.6 million enhancement. And then barrier free travel. Clients with disabilities will find that compliance with the American with Disabilities Act, ADA, means accessible lodging and attractions and tour operators and rental equipment are available in USVI. A list of locations that are completely compliant or have limited mobility is continuously being updated on the USVI Department of Tourism website. Click here for more information. All right, and when you click here, it takes you completely out and then shows you a, a brochure flyer and stuff. These are things that once you print your certificate and stuff, you may wanna print these out to um, different flyers and stuff to keep in like a binder if you want to be able to, you know, get in, you know, back to it quickly, okay? All right, check your knowledge. Okay, this is the third question two and a half and three and a half hours okay yep it's two and a half and three. And three. Oh, you already answered <laughs> i was like wait yes. i haven't even read the question <laughs> yeah. thank you all right so two and a half and three and a half all right so very good okay so fill in the blanks so again um perfect as we you see here we have the answers now in here for you guys okay so two and the question was um, USVI can be reached from the mainland as quickly as two and a half from Miami and three and a half from New York. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. Um, this is the distinct islands interactive map. Okay, so let's start exploring. So we'll go ahead and hit start exploring. Okay, so Cyril E. King International Airport, St. Thomas Main Airstrip is a public airport located two miles west of the central business district of Charlotte Amali. The airport is named in honor of Cyril um, Emanuel King, the second elected governor of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Then you have Crown Bay. The marina offers convenient wood level shopping with the finest in fashion and creative local arts and crafts. This seaside retail and commercial center located on the southwest side of St. Thomas offers cruise passengers, overnight guests, and local residents a vivid variety of retail delights sure to satisfy even the most savvy shopper. All right, Megan's Bay, I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, St. Thomas' most popular beach. This beautiful one mile stretch is a public park and was donated to the people of the Virgin Islands by Arthur Fairchild. The water is usually very calm in this heart shaped protected bay. Beach chairs and floats are available for rent, and burgers, pizzas, and other snacks can be found at the snack bar. Lifeguards are on duty every day. Admission is $5 for adults and children 12 and younger are free. Parking is $2. Boy, that's a deal, huh guys? Fort Christian built in 1672. Uh, Fort Christian is the oldest standing structure in the US Virgin Islands, all right? That's pretty cool. All right, Haven Site Shopping. The popular one-stop destination on St. Thomas is located on the grounds of the West Indian Company Limited. 
which is also home to one of the island's cruise ports. Haven Site Mall has over 100 stores and businesses with the same low duty-free prices as in town. So for you shoppers, what about Mountaintop? Mountaintop offers vistas from 1,500 feet above sea level, as well as their world famous banana daiquiri. Yum, that sounds good. All right, Anne E. Abramson Pier. Okay, with, the, with three islands and 14 ports to choose from, Anne E. Abramson, Abramson Pier is easy to find. And the marine facility is no exception. Located in Frederickstead, this is the main cruise ship port in St. Croix and the recipient of a multi-million dollar pier renovation in 2008. A shopping area is located within walking distance and ground transportation and tours are available from the pier to diverse historical sites, spectacular beaches and the world renowned dive ven venues. Plus, as an additional incentive to prospective cruise lines, VIPA has waived all marina fees for cruise ships visiting St. Croix. All berths at this beautiful facility have access to, oops, sorry, do, 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 um, potable uh, water and bunkering services are available via barge. The platform of the pier is equipped with state-of-the-art fendering system. Fuel is available in blends as specified by the cruise lines and cargo handling is arranged directly by the cruise lines. Voyager class vessels can berth on the southern portion of the dock and Eagle um, class and smaller vessels may berth on either side. Anchorage is also available in the outer harbor for larger ships. All right. Whew, that was a mouthful, huh? Henry E. Rolson International Airport. Henry E. Rolson Airport is public airport located six miles southwest of Christiansted on the island of St. Croix in the United States Virgin Islands. The airport is named after Henry E. Rolson, a St. Croix native who was one of Tuskegee Airmen during World War II. Woo! Um, all right, can somebody let Chrissy know? Um, I think we're in just the first um, step under the link um, for training. You go to step one or, or um, focus one. All right, Point Udall. Point Udall is the easternmost point of the United States. A sundial known as the Millennium Monument was built above Point Udall for the New Year's celebration in 2000. It marks the az uh, azimuth of the first U.S. sunrise of that year. All right. Azimuth. Buccaneer Golf Course. A par 70, 18 hole golf course encompassing it, encompassing 5,668 yards with spectacular views of the Caribbean Sea from 13 holes, Buccaneer Golf Course was designed by Bob Joyce in 1973. Then we have Caramba, no, Carambola Golf Course. Nestled in the Northwestern Valley of St. Croix uh, is the Lawrence Rockefeller built and Robert Trent Jones designed Carambola Golf Course. Facilities include a clubhouse, practice putting green, driving range, restaurant, bar, and pro shop. All right, what about Cruise Bay? Cruise Bay is a center of activity on St. John. Here you'll find colorful shops, lively cafes, and a wide variety of restaurants. All right, Christy, so if you got in, go through everything, go through those questions and catch up with us. If you need help with the question, let us know. We've only done three so far. Mongoose Junction, a superb collection of shops and restaurants. This shopping destination is housed in a unique architectural and tropical setting. Here you will find retail shops, restaurants, bars, and professional services for every style, age, and taste. Just a few minutes stroll from the Cruise Bay Ferry Terminal. Trunk Bay, okay. Trunk Bay, 
a part of the U.S. National Park that is underwater is located here. You can discover it along the Snorkel Trail. This is also one of the prettiest beaches on St. John and is consistently voted one of the top five beaches in the world, okay? Trunk Bay, remember that, top five beaches of the world. We'll have to go there, put that on my bucket list. Um, Virgin Islands National Park, two thirds of St. John is a US National Park and 5,560 acres of the park is underwater. How weird is that, huh? Okay. Do, do, do. Anna Berg Sugar Plantation Ruins has old slave quarters and villages to explore along the self-guided walking tour. All right, we got through that one. I think we have a test. Doo, doo, doo. Nope. Okay, island overview. With three spectacular islands in one destination, the USBI offers clients one incredible vacation. Each of the U.S. Virgin Islands has its own wonderful attractions for a multi-day visit, but an even better experience would be to combine the three, taking advantage of each island's distinct and unique experiences. The combined area of the three islands is about two times the size of Washington, D.C., so it's easy to do so, um, easy to do so much. An overview of each island follows with more details of attractions and activities available in the subsequent screens. All right, so you have St. Croix, the largest of the three islands. St. Croix has gentle hills, historic towns, sandy beaches, and is surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. It is 28 miles long and seven miles at its widest point. The island has the greatest cultural diversity and boasts pastel, pastel buildings and is small shops in the historic towns of Christiansted and Frederickstead. Main attractions include the 700 acre underwater Buck Island National Monument. The storms brought a new beach to Buck Island. The area of the island that once had rocks and was impassable now has soft white sand. St. George Village Botanical Gardens, the authentic Danish Wim Plantation Museum dating from the 1700s, and Cruzan Rum Factory Tour, and the 18-hole Par 70 Carambola, Car Carambola <laughs> Golf Club. All right, St. John. Two-thirds of St. John, the smallest of the three islands at 19 square miles, is protected by Virgin Islands national park with 9500 acres of rolling green hills and an underwater reserve the tranquil world can be explored on more than 20 self-guided hiking trails or by snorkeling or diving its fish um, and coral filled waters the island also boasts some of the world's most beautiful beaches including trunk bay and cinnamon bay the main towns are Cruise Bay with shops and restaurants and quaint Coral Bay. Since the storms, the National Park and its snorkeling trail has reopened, as well as all the breathtaking beaches on St. John. Ferry service is up and running and Cruise Bay shops and restaurants are again open and bustling. Most hotels and villas have reopened on St. John with the exception of Keneal Bay and the various campsites. Um, campground sites. All right, and then you have St. Thomas. Mountainous St. Thomas combines natural beauty with cosmopolitan atmosphere, a major cruise port as well as the capital city. Scenic Art Charlotte Emile um, Amalie features top dining and duty-free shopping as well as historic uh, monuments. The island boasts magnificent views of the Caribbean with 1,500 feet above sea level the, uh, with Drake's seat and Valdemar Hill, two of the most scenic overlooks. Paradise Point Tramway lifts visit, visitors 700 feet above sea level on a cable car to one of the most spectacular views of Charlotte Amelie, um, Amelie, um, Amelie sorry, Harbor. 
well-known Magins uh, Bay is just one of more than 40 pristine white beaches on the island. Other top attractions include Coral World Ocean Park and Observatory and Fort Christian built in 1672. Uh, St. Thomas reopened to cruise passengers very soon after the storms welcoming its first cruise ship in November of 2017. Many of the properties on St. Thomas have already reopened and just a few reopening late 2019, early 2020. Those include the Ritz-Carlton, the Marriott Frenchman's Reef and Morning Star Beach Resort, Renaissance Car Carabola Beach Resort and Sugar Bay Beach Resort. In addition to the cruise ports being reopened, Main Street and other shopping areas are open as well as restaurants and most activities and attractions. So start your vacation in St. Croix. One of the best aspects of the vacation to USVI is that visitors can visit all three of these islands in one trip. So mix and match two or three days from these suggested five day itineraries on each island for one longer USVI vacation. Click to see, here to see suggested itineraries, okay? So immerse yourself in the culture, experience the influence and history of seven different colonial powers in both the towns of Christiansted and Frederickstead on one of the historical walking tours. Visit the forts in the town or learn the sugar cane days at the Estate Wim Plantation Museum. Take a tour of the world famous Cruzon Rum distillery and try some of the island's exceptional smooth rum. Be sure to make a stop at the local eatery to sample Kalalu stewed mutton and Johnny cakes. Anybody ever have that? <laughs> Sit back and relax. Catch a sailboat out to Buck Island Reef Mon National Monument. The 176 acre island is a perfect sanctuary for a snorkel or picnic. The waters that surround Buck Island are some of the most pristine, clear, crystal clear waters you will experience. Perfect for both snorkeling and diving. Take a calm kayaking tour of the Salt River Bay National Park and um, Ecological Preserve or relax on one of St. Croix's many gorgeous beaches. End your day on the quick 20 minute seaplane flight over to St. Thomas for the next leg of your adventure. Move inland. Uh, Charlotte Amelie is a horse historic town full of sights and sounds. Take one of our famous walking food tours past Fort Christian to Emancipation Garden and the St. Uh, Thomas Synagogue. You'll get to sample some of the delicious food that the U.S. Virgin Islands is known for while meandering through the beautiful shopping districts of Main Street. Stop in on some of your favorite shops along the way for that special item you can take home with you to remind you of your trip to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Then take a ride up to Mountaintop and see the island from its highest point and enjoy one of our famous banana daiquiris. Beach it! Spend the day at the famed Majins, uh, Majins Bay, which is consistently named one of the world's most beautiful beaches. Snorkel or snuba at Koki Point on the east end of, or windsurf at Morning Star Beach on the island's south side. Nothing tops a day at the beach like watching the sunset from Paradise Point and your time in St. Thomas taking the short 15 minute ferry over. Um, Surround yourself in blue. On your very on your last full day in the US Virgin Islands, take a day sail to the surrounding islands to or go windsurfing. Visit Trunk Bay and snorkel its famous underwater trail or just enjoy the sun, sand and sea at Cinnamon Bay. Okay. All right. So yeah, it says it takes only 20 minutes to get that. So check and see France in your um, uh, spam folder also. All right, the statement describes which of the three islands. Two thirds of this island, the smallest of the three, is protected by the National Park with 9,500 acres of rolling green hills and underwater reserve. That's St. John, perfect. That's what I thought, perfect. Correct, next lesson. Doo, 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 doo. All right, history guys, the USBI. 
um, maybe a territory of the United States, but it has a culture and history all its own. Seven nations have flown their flags over these islands, making their own impact on its culture, architecture, cuisine, and traditions. But the Danish influence is the most prevalent. Visitors might notice that many locals speak in a distinct dialect due to Danish, French, Spanish, and African influence, and many locals still have Danish names. Guided walking tours of the largest historical town in the U.S., Charlotte Amalie, taking visitors along Danish named streets to such architectural landmarks as Fort Christian. The oldest structure in the USVI is it has stood guard over the Char Charlotte um, Amelie Harbor for more than 300 years. The self-guided 200 site St. Croix Heritage Trail explores Danish, French, Spanish, West Indian and African influences and clients can follow it by car or by hiking part of it. Look for the signs. Sites along the trail include the restored 18th century estate, Wim Museum, which includes a plantation, great house that is now a museum of Danish island history, and Fort um, Christian Vrion, made with Danish yellow bricks, between 1738 and 1749, overlooking the Christiansted Harbor. The fort is now a museum that features the lifestyle of Danish troops and the conditions in which criminals and rebellious slaves were imprisoned. Danish history of St. Croix or St. John can be discovered at the Annaberg Sugar Mill Ruins, which focuses on 18th century plantation life. Other historical cultural attractions. Uh, you have Point Udall, um, St. Croix, the e e Ah, easternmost point in the U.S. is named after Stuart Udall, who was the U.S. Secretary of Interior under both John F. Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson. Just above the point is the Millennium Monument, a sundial. St. Thomas Synagogue, the second oldest synagogue with sand floors in the Western Hemisphere, is a national landmark completed in 1833. Um, with a menorah dating back to the 11th century. Camille Pissarro, Pissarro Building, St. Thomas. Impressionist painter Pissarro lived from 1830 to 1903 and contributed to the Impressionism and Post-Impressionism styles. He lived in St. Thomas until he was 12 and returned there in his later years. His birthplace is now an art gallery featuring his own work and artwork from dozens of other artists. His work is also on display at the government house in Charlotte Amelie. Festival fun, the USVI knows how to celebrate its cultures with festivals and special events held year round. The following are some of the biggest celebrations. You have the Virgin Islands uh, Carnival in April. St. Thomas is host to a month long celebration of carnival that includes pageants, parades and music and food festivals. The last week of April is when both the children's and adults parades are held. Festival, early June through July 4th. The annual festival focuses on St. John's cultural heritage. Featured events are pageants, music concerts, sporting races and food fairs with the big splash ending of the 4th of July firework display. And then you have Crucian Christmas Festival, St. Croix, December and January. Okay, the annual festival takes place on St. Croix where winter holidays are celebrated Crucian style with pageants, music, food and dancing. Additional can't miss events, the St. Croix Agricultural Fair, Mango Malay, Jump Up, the St. Croix Food and Wine, Taste of St. Croix, St. Thomas International Regatta, King of the Wing, and St. Patrick's Day Parade. What is the name of the major attraction that is on the easternmost point of the U.S.? Um, point of the U.S. Point Udall. Let's check it out. That is correct. Thank you, Darius. All right, guys. So Point Udall is the major attraction on the eastern, easternmost point of the U.S. Doo -doo -doo. All right. 
Um, attractions and activity, target markets. Who is the US Virgin Island suitable for? Just about everyone. Who doesn't love pristine white beaches visiting the largest historical town in the US, Charlotte Amelie, snorkeling fame, Trunk Bay, and making memories that will last a lifetime. Our incredible three islands each provide unique experiences to appeal to a variety of travelers. Below, we outline why the following target audiences, no matter how discerning, will relish in a passport-free, unforgettable vacation to America's Caribbean. Sailing and yachting. Uh, both beginning and seasoned um, sailors will find the USVI's pleasant year-round sailing conditions, warm and clear waters and trade winds make for an amazing sailing destinations. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to do it on the next group. <laughs> There's plenty to see and do as well as vessels and charter companies to choose when clients sail the short distance between islands. Visit um, vipka.org for a complete list of certified day and week long charter companies. Diving, your clients can take part in every type of dive possible. Dive alongside over 40 types of coral and hundreds of in, in, invertebrates. But weave through an untouched um, uh, it's Point Udal, Point Udal. Weave through an untouched shipwreck, immerse themselves in a world of leatherback sea turtles, spotted eagle rays, queen triggerfish, silvery horsite, jacks, creole wrasses, and more than 500 species of fish. Choose a wall dive, a wreck dive, or a reef dive. In the USVI, the options are endless for advanced divers and underwater rookies. Our dive vessels and captains are US Coast Guard certified, ensuring high boating safety standards. Learn more by downloading the dive guide in the resource center. In addition to sailing and yachting, yachting um, and diving, your clients will find almost any water sport imaginable, including fishing, wind sailing, kayaking, stand up paddle boarding, kite surfing, wave running, and more. Ecotourism, soft adventure. It seems like everyone is an adventure when they travel these days. Between 2009, 2013, the adventure travel market grew at the incredible rate of 65% annually, according to the Adventure Travel Trade Association, ADA. And the market is still growing, especially the soft adventure category. Considering that natural beauty range of activities and climate ranked as high up as the highest Priority with adventure travelers when selecting destination ADA, the USBI checks all the boxes. In addition to stunning and diverse natural landscapes and incredible weather all year, there is no shortage of activities for your adventure seeking and ecotourist clients to discover. Among the most sought after experiences are glass bottom kayaking in St. Croix, Bioluminous Lagoons, one of the brightest in the world, kayaking St. Thomas Mag Megan's, Magens Bay, and hike, swim, and snorkel the National Park. 3,000 years of human history, biking, water, island, and much more. Um, hey there, sorry, I'm on training right now. Okay, call me back. Right, right, right. All right, so romance, getting married, wedding season is a year round in the USVI. Tying the knot in the USVI is as stress-free as it is breathtaking with our simple marriage laws. Once your clients arrive on the islands, we have experienced wedding planners and specialists committed to every last detail of your wedding reception and honeymoon. With historic places of worship, centuries old um, architecture, sprawling villas and glorious palm fringe beaches, our three islands are a welcoming paradise for couples from all walks of life. Download the wedding and honeymoon guide in the resource center to learn more about the romance offerings. Dining and shopping, okay? Dining um, considered some of the best dining in the Caribbean. The USVI is a foodie's paradise. Your clients will find um, cuisine that spans the globe from original Caribbean fusion dishes to French and Thai. Additionally, there are several food festivals across the islands including the St. Croix Food and Wine Experience, Taste of St. Croix, the Cool Pot Festival, and Dine um, Six or whatever. <laughs> Showcase our gastronomic excellence. 
shopping. No visitor in the U.S. Virgin Island returns home without indulging in a little shopping. Who can resist the Caribbean's best duty-free shopping? With an allowance of $1,600, double that of um, other Caribbean islands, U.S. residents, including children, can enjoy the shopping experience without worrying about duty or taxes. That's kind of nice, huh? Millennials, there are a few things that millennials crave on a vacation that then localized authentic experiences. Let your under 40 clientele know that the USVI is nowhere near the fly and flop beach vacation they might equate to Caribbean trips. A cultural um, melting pot backed by a diverse and interesting history, a vibrant culinary scene and hard and soft adventures galore. The USVI is a free form exploratory paradise. Our destination sets the tone for true discovery and only the day's 24 hour limit will stop your clients from being lost like a local in some of the world's most beautiful scenery. Uh, volunteerism. Don't just take a trip, take a volunteerism vacation. Purpose in Paradise is a comprehensive program that enhances the territory's broad network of community based philanthropic whatever activities and strengthens our ability to attract visitors in search of purpose driven travel opportunities. The initiative pairs um, visitors who are interested in helping the territories recovering efforts with local nonprofit organizations in need of assistance with special projects such as rebuilding a vegetable garden, coral restoration, helping to measure seedlings in mangroves or collaborating on student literacy. The program is built around three pillars designed to present a broad range of philanthropic through philanthropic, philanthropic. <laughs> thank you opportunities for visitors to the u.s virgin islands education environment enterprise development Whew. all right check your knowledge which of the following vacations types are most suitable sailing diving all the above that's right so let's click all of the above, there we go. All of the above, our incredible three islands provide unique experiences to a variety of travelers. Correct, next, next lesson. Okay, final exam, is everybody ready? This is a final exam for the first course, okay guys? Let's get ready, only a few questions. True or false, U.S. citizens require a passport when traveling the U.S. Virgin Islands? No. What makes traveling so easy? Okay, I think we already answered all these, right? <laughs> Two and a half and three and a half. The statement, okay, this is uh, St. John, right? The major attraction, Point Udall, and all of the above, correct? You guys all good? Let's get graded. Boop, 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 ding, ding, ding. And it's good guys, stay on board because you never know, you know, they give out gifts, they give out advertisements all the time. Yay, so new resources have been unlocked. Now that you're up to speed, we'd like to share some newly unlocked resources. All right, so let's view your resources. Do -do -do. So here you got fact sheets, videos, brochures, congratulations. Be sure to download your diploma, okay? Now again, that's just one. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. What time do we have time, right? So next course. So we completed course one, right? Ready to go to step two, course two. You guys good with that? So let's go to step two. Who wants to take over reading on this one? I'm sorry, I was um, working on something else. Um, what is, I'm so lost. That's okay, where are you? I, I think I stopped that question three because I kept getting um, people wanna sign up and I'm just like. Oh, good. Well, you got people getting signed up. That's always good. <laughs> What, uh, what's the question? Oh God, it was, 
question three from the beginning and then after that i've just been busy okay they're all the same on the end so question three would probably be two and a half and three and a half oh okay so this is what i'm looking at let me see if i'm gonna skip forward they don't cuss me because i kind of yeah let me just go to the end all right two and three and a half hours okay Ugh. all right i need to get to the final goodbye Okay. I'm trying to skip as quickly as I can to get to that part. Because I was listening while you was talking, so. No worries. We can um, just go ahead and get, you know, catch up. And then, um, you know, we just ask which question because we've got all the answers right here. So it's very easy. Point of doll, St. John, all of the above, all of the above. Okay. Oh, the smallest island is St. Thomas, right? Nope, St. John. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, next lesson. Come on now, I got them. As quick as I can. Oh, shoot. The, the major attraction of that is the easternmost part of the U.S.? Udall. Or Udall. Udall. Where is that? Is that on Virgin Islands or in the U.S.? I'm, I'm confused. Okay, I'll figure it out later. Whatever. The Virgin Islands is in is considered U.S., so you don't need a passport. Okay. Checking on suitable for all of the above, right? Volunteer yep. is. I don't know if all of the above will keep it. All of the yeah. above. Next. Okay, so. Final exam, the first one is, um, US citizens require a passport, no. So what it's makes, false, all of the above, two and a half and three and a half. St. John, Port two. Udall, and all of the above. St. John, Port Udall, point, sorry. No, we love. Okay. Yep. There you go. Congratulations. All right, Melissa, I'm giving it up to you. Thank so you. make sure you guys go into this one. We're doing the U.S. Virgin Multi Gen Travel. Okay. Right under here, under courses, course number two. Okay. Good. Yay. Okay. Next one. All right. Wait. It's being recorded, right? So I'll just, um, if I miss anything, I'll just rewatch it again. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, if I miss anything, because I have to step out, then I'll just watch the replay. Yeah, exactly, because we're recording it. Correct. Okay. You um, guys pay close attention because there's a lot of detail on this next course. I'm trying it and I'm failing, so just pay attention. I oh, know, okay. <laughs> So again, that's why it's good that we do it together. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay. It's all yours. The ultimate family vacation. Nature's theme park, the family friendly U.S. Virgin Islands. Welcome to the USVI multi-generational, dang, that's a big word. Travel module, multi-generational travel has been a top trend for nearly a decade, but planning a trip that meets the needs of three or more generations isn't, a, isn't any easier. What once involved picking a surround, oh wait, wait, surround sun-drenched destination and a beachfront resort now looks more like a destination wedding and honeymoon where multiple guests, accommodations, dining, and entertainment needs are accounted for. Not to fright, not to fright. Families still love the Caribbean travel advisors choose multi-gene travel and family travel as top as the top two opportunities for growth in the Caribbean. In travel marketing reports, 2018-2019 outlook for the Caribbean report. So you won't have to reinvent the wheel. What we'll teach you in the next seven lessons is that in addition to stunning beaches and natural landscapes, the U.S. Virgin Islands is one of the reasons why the Caribbean ranks so high among families and advisors alike. Hmm. 
Why families love the Caribbean? It goes without saying the Caribbean is a uh, is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. While tourism to other beach escapes like Mexico and Hawaii has been on the dead on the decline. The Caribbean set new travel records in 2018. The region is by far the most popular for ship development, accounting for 34% of the cruise marketing. According to the CLIA, here are just a few recent uh, accolades that are a test, testament to the Caribbean standing as a beloved travel destination. Trips, Trip Advisor World's Best Beaches in 2018 Travelers Choose Awards. The Caribbean and Florida State claims as the most decorated in the world. And US lists re-prospectively and based on TripAdvisor price reports, travelers can still find outstanding value on warm weather escapes. To these popular beaches, this new said, this year said Brooke, forensic, no, for, forensic, senior director of communications for TripAdvisor. Travel Plus Leisure's 2018 World's Best Award, 25 resorts spanning 12 Caribbean countries made the list. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Caribbean versus Mexico versus Hawaii um, for multi-generation travel. The Caribbean, um, the location direct flights up and down the East Coast, tons of cruises, itineraries to choose from. Mexico, direct flights up and down the East and West Coast, tons of cruise itineraries to choose from. Hawaii, a nearly six hour flight for California and longer for everyone else, limited cruise access. Who wait. Um, Sandy, is this on the test? Is she on? Yeah, what I, let me see. No. Okay. No need to read all that. Um, it's a comparison. You guys can take a picture um, and it, it pretty much compares everything. So uh, we'll go to the next screen. So again, uh, graduate benefits, guys, a lot of times when you're doing these, you get, um, you know, certificates, you get things in the mail and stuff. So, um, all right, go ahead and start here, um, Melissa. Okay. Sorry, hold on, because mine, I already completed mine, so mine's going to the check knowledge. Start where? Maya, Maya. That's okay. All right, I'll do it. Start, start where? I'll do it. The why choose oh. the USVI? Oh, I'm there. I'm there. Okay. Um, why choose the US USBI? The US Virgin Islands enjoys a long-standing reputation as one of the Caribbean's most family hey, family-friendly destinations, boosting a combination of easy and affordable access, ex ex extraordinary natural beauty, and accommodations that range from eco tent campus to beachfront luxury resorts. Few destinations offer a more diverse or engaging combinations of recreational and educational activities for traveling families. Where else can children delight in petting sharks, exploring ancient par parallel, I don't know that word, <laughs> petroglyphs, I don't know, or playing pirates in a 17th century fortress from guided hikes and kayaking tours that inspire a deep appreciation for nature to uh, add uh, Adderling pumping, pumping un underwater discoveries. The islands of St. Croix, St. Thomas and St. John offer dozens of appealing attractions to competitive children and adults alike. Very good, thank you. You're All right, fill in the blank. The U.S. Virgin Islands enjoy a long-standing reputation as one of the family's Caribbean's most family-friendly destinations, boasting a combination of easy and affordable access, extraordinary uh, beauty accommodations, etc. Okay, so family-friendly, guys. Very good. Next lesson. Da -da -da. 
All right, Generations on the Move. Do you wanna go keep going or you want me to go ahead? I'll go ahead and read. Um, Sorry, I had it muted. That's okay. If you want, I go, couldn't go ahead and read so if you want. I'm fine, I can read. Okay, oh, my go ahead. Ahead. okay. Okay, sorry, it's not, okay. I need to press the next lesson, it's not going, okay. I'm here. Generation and the move. Gaining seller's edge insights into multi-generational travelers. In lesson one, you learned why the Caribbean and USVI are so popular among families. But did you know that by 2014, 40% of leisure travels had taken at least one multi-generational trip? MMYG, Global and Preferred Hotel Group. The renewed interest in family time is unsur unsurprising. Since digital devices, dual incomes, and distance have all contrib contributed to family spending less quality time together. However, besides family time, what are, are the other motivations and purposes driving the multi-grain travel trend? In this lesson, we'll provide key insights into vacation, planning prior priorities, influences, as well as travel advisors demand to help accelerate the USVI sales cycle. Hmm. Vacation planning, trip length and booking window. A 2018 national study by Expedia and the Center for Generational Kin Kinex found that a long weekend is the most preferred trip length among mi millennials. Jeans, I don't know all this. Jean uh, X, Charlie's baby boomers are much more likely to travel for a week or even longer. In terms of booking windows, boomers are also more likely to book trips further in advance often months prior to departure while younger generations are, are a point to book less than 30 days out. Surprise, millennials, many millennials, many of whom are now over the age of 35 with families of their own. 80% of new mothers are millennials, according to Barbies, are driving multi-generational travel according to separate studies from MMGY Global and Ambassador Suites. Destination perfect. Despite a growing interest in city culture trips, beach vacations are still the most sought after vacation type among families, regardless of the age of children. Further, the Caribbean was the leading destination among multi-generational travels. Travelers. So, um, sorry. That's okay. Uh, do you want me to read this age group? Or just go back to, no, go to the yeah, bottom? No, good there. Okay. okay. And then uh, motivation influences. In okay. Space. Travel inspirations and influencers. Considering the multi-gene travel is pr promoted by families wanting to spend more time together. It's no wonder that children play any, I mean, sorry, play an outsized role in vacation planning. Happy kids, happy life. Teens especially influence household spending with 60% dedicating travel planning. According to data from the National Retail Federation and IBM, although travel agents scored low on inspiration scale in the last section, you'll see how you play a big role when it comes to bookings. All right, it's kind of fun. You're talking about kids. <laughs> ah, right? Keep y'all happy. Y'all ain't happy, I ain't happy. Yet. Happy kids, happy life. Right? All what right. about me? I need a happy life too. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay. Okay. Why choose? Okay, choosing. Okay, why choose the USVI? Unlike some Caribbean destinations, the USVI offers a wide variety of family friends accommodations across all three islands, with many of the hotels reopened after the storm and new hotels opening soon. Changing factors of influence. The majority of survey respondents noted that family travel preference don't change drastically as children age. However, it's important to know that mitigating factors that do influence travel pre preferences in, in the below table, travelers were asked to agree or disagree with the following statements comparing their travel focus today versus three years ago. 
Why choose the USBI? The, the USBI ranked among the top 20 safest countries for US travelers according to 2019 data from Big Share Hath, Hathaway Travel Protection. Working with travel advisors, well, we'd love to show you data to indicate that most male multi-generational travels work with travel advisors that, that marker maker has yet to mat, matter materialize. The good news is the multi-gene travelers use your service much more often than other leisure travels. According to a preferred hotel group survey, 38% of respondents use the service services of a traditional traditional travel agent to plan a multi-generational vacation and 41% plan to do so during the next two years. Perhaps surprise, surprisingly, millennials were most likely to use a travel advisor when planning or booking a multi-generational trip and have the highest intention of doing so again during the next two years. All right. Uh, well, there's one more. The opportunity, go ahead and target the 43% of multi-gene travelers who enjoy the researching or planning progress. These prospects can plan to their heart's content, but you can give them an honest take on how their choices hold up the marketing or review, I mean, marketing and review, hype and ensure that all their vacations need are met. Further, not only did a large number of respondents complain that advertised rates from travel companies were misleading and were often frustrated by added on fees and surcharges, but the next table points to grow demand for clearer and quicker and, and quicker avenues, avenues to trip satisfaction, which is your specialty, of course. All right. True. True. <laughs> Yes, I ranked among the 10 safest. Okay, true. Very good. Very good, guys. Next. All right, three times the fun. You want to keep going or you want to hand it off? If someone wants to read, yeah. If not, I'll keep going. Does somebody want to read? No, okay, I'll read. Okay. Three times. <laughs> Don't be scared. Okay. Three times the fun. Fun for all ages found on three unique islands. In the last two lessons, you learned why the USBI makes sense for multi-generational travel. Hey, be quiet. Stay over there. Not only do multi-gene travelers want to explore the Caribbean on a multi multi fast fact. What's that word? Multifaceted beach, I think. Multifaceted beach. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Location, I don't know, these are big words. But our passport free prop proposition re own safety and non stop services for top getaway US cities make visiting our island a breeze. In this lesson, we'll look at the top family-friendly attractions across all three islands, so you can deliver what multi-gene travelers want most from their advisors, in-depth understanding of the destination or vacation type. And there is a dedicated lesson on family-approved accommodations. Up next, St. Thomas, excuse me. Well, they're making memories at the world's prettiest beaches, rediscovering history at museums sports or historic houses, uh, churches and cathedrals. Cath cathedrals and my, thank you, admiring stunning panoramic, panoramic views at every angle or enjoying the best duty free shopping in the Caribbean. St. Thomas is 32 square miles of endless fun. Animal encounters, in addition to snorkeling and snuba, a cross between snorkeling and diving directly from the beaches or by boat. Families can interact with a variety of marine life and more. Wow. Coral World Ocean Park. Coral World has long been a favorite among visitors and residents. Park goers can swim with sea lions and dolphins, sea, sea trek along the ocean floor, Encountered turtles, sharks, and stingrays. I don't want to see no sharks, no sharks or stingrays. Feed, feed, 
lower kids. I don't know what that is. And more other highlights include the undersea absorbatory, absorbatory tower built 30 feet underwater and the marine, marine gardens gallery of 21 aquariums. Wow, that's a lot of aquariums. Uh, bird watching, your clients can participate in, in an Audubon. Audubon Society sponsored bird watching tour to Marvel at over at our over 106 residents and my migratory bird species. Wow, it's a lot of birds. <laughs> Museums and tours for Christian Fort Christian Christian constructed in 16. Hey, can you be quiet? Go over there. I can't even talk and read at the same time and you're talking. Sorry. In 1680, this national historic landmark is the oldest building in continuous use on St. Thomas. And some big old words in here. St. Thomas food tours. Five-star TripAdvisor rating tour company with a global to introduce visitors to the island's unique history and food. Via Inca, Via Eco Tours, kayak, hike, and snorkel, picture, picture, pictures, queue, mangrove, lagoon, wildlife, sanctuary, and marine preserve. Explore, explore desert, desert island, man, mangrove forest, and snorkel clear protected waters. Outdoor exploration. Mountain top located on the highest point of St. Thomas Mountain Top affords visitors stunning panoramic views of Maggins Bay and the British Virgin Islands. St. Thomas Skyride. The eight tower, eight, uh, eight ancient uh, flag hill whisks uh, visitors up to the Paradise Point, 700 feet above the town of Sherida at Amil, Amili, Amili, for some of the most dramatic views in the Caribbean. Uh, I Fantisa Tropical Bow Botanical Garden. Fantan. Over 15 years in the marketing business, <laughs> garden features over a thousand orchids, hundreds of bro, bro bromelids, he, I carol, helicons, I gingers, palms, and many other tropical vegetations. Dang. <laughs> I don't know, Mia, those are some big words. Water Islands, officially known as USBI's Four Islands. This 491.5 acre islet is a mere 10 minute ferry ride away. Rarely crowded and beset with remote beaches, beaches and shopping. Beaches, Bungalow Bay, Brewers Bay, Koki Point Beach, Koki Point Beach, Pool Bay, Lindbergh Bay, Ding <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, next one. Uh, um, shopping, okay. Uh, St. Croix, by the water up under the seas, there's a surprise around every reef. Cove and Dunn, in addition to the famed Captain Morgan Rum dis Distillery, uh, all those names. Live Sunset Jazz in Fred. Frederick, I don't know, food and wine festivals. Fred, what is it? Frederickstead. Oh, Frederickstead, food and wine festivals, Tito, Tito, pool hikes, and rainforest tours. Here are some family to do's. Historic sites, uh, La, La Wattie's Family Museum, and 18th century estate house showcasing the antique furnishing and loose fertile gardens of the prominent Danish crew, uh, Krusen La Westies family. Point Adul, the easternmost point of the United States offering magnificent views. Historic uh, Fred, Frederickston walking tours. Learn about the historic of Fred's, Freder, Frederickston stead with its magnificent waterfront, Fort Frederick, Victorian townhouse, and historic archer churches. I don't know why I want to say archers. <laughs> Additional tours included the Alexander Hamilton uh, Christian Stead historical walking tour, ridge to reform 
tour and I, I echo hike and tours. I better be an I, I echo the way you sound. <laughs> Best drinking pigs at the what? Pigs? Are you drinking pigs or what? At the MT Paller Hunt Do Do Domino Club. If you stop at the Domino Club, not only can you get yourself a cold beer, but you can buy non alcohol around for the res resident pigs. Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> I was like, what drink beer drinking pigs? Pigs uh, is on the final exam, so remember that. <laughs> right? I'm like, what the heck? Uh, Estate Weir Plantation Museum. History comes alive as you walk among the original early 18th century plantation building on the 12 acres. For Chris, Christine, oh wait, Christian's Baron, completed in, in 1749 and did, very welcome. And did, uh, and designed a national historic site in 1952. This former courthouse features an exhibit on local military history. Virgin Island Food Tours. Visit vifoodtours.com to choose from a variety of guided culture and food tasting walk tours, including tastes of town city food tours. Outdoor exploration. Book Islands, one of the only three underwater national mountains in the United States. Book Islands underwater trails make it a popular destination for travelers. I mean, for, for snorkelers and a must do for every visitor. St. George Village uh, Botanical. Botanical Gardens, thank you. Through its gardens and collections. It is a center of education for better understanding, not only of this island's biological heritage, but also the horticulture, horticulture potential for con contemporary, 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 uh -huh. contemporary gardening in the Virgin Islands. Bioluminescent, bioluminescent, mm -hmm. bioluminescent base, both, both, Salt River Bay National Historical Park and Ecological Perverts and Altona Lagoon allows visitors to witness nature's nightly living lights caused by a high consideration of bioluminescent microorganisms called dino flags, flag lists. Okay. <laughs> Beaches, St. Crocs is home to 34 stunning beaches. Uh, okay. Uh, St. John with its incredible tranquility and carefully preserved natural beauty. St. John is truly one of, one of the most unforgettable places your clients will ever visit. There are countless ways to explore the islands by sea, paddle boarding, kite boarding, snorkeling, kayaking, sailing, and more or by land, private islands, tourists, hiking, biking, and horseback riding. Plus, here are some must see site for families. I wanna go there. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Hyster oh, it is, huh? Hyster uh, historic sites and entertainment. And Annaberg Sugar Plantation Ruins. Part of the Islands Nation Park, visitors, visitors can travel back in time to 1780s and Mindador among the ruins of, of the old windmill or catch a culture demonstration. Bars and live music expect low key open air bars, friendly face and live music. Cruise Bay is formed for its live music scene and a relaxing atmosphere. Beacons, beacons, you to sit. Enjoy a drink and watch the sunset. Shopping popular shopping areas on St. John's, including the unique shops of Moon Mongoose Junction and uh, Watch uh, Wa Workside. What, what was that? Workside. Workside Village, as well as Coral Bay's quant shops that feature homemade jewelry. I mean, jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Jewelry, <laughs> jewelry, silk screens, fabrics, and art. That's because I said I said jelly <laughs> or jelly. Um, outdoor exploration, Virgin Islands National Park, covering most of Saint John's, um, at seven thousand place acres. This major landmark features breathtaking beaches, tropical forests, and relics from the islands. 
history within its border light protection bays of crystal blue green waters teeming with coral reef life white sandy beaches shady by sea grape trees coconut palms and tro tropical forests all providing habitat for over 800 species of plants reef bay trail and petroglyphs petroglyphs glyphs the most popular trek in the National Park begins on Center Line Road and descend 937 feet through a shady forest. While hiking, you encounter the visible remains for sugar estates and ancient petro Black. with rock cravings. Beaches, Fra Francis Bay, Honeymoon Beach, Lanester Bay, Salt Pond Bay, uh hawkins 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 beach jumba bay uh and all that <laughs> very good thank you so much again it takes a lot out of you so thank you i appreciate that um, you're welcome this hard work <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> all right who wants to read next i know i got a few volunteers in there all right, which of the three islands can client your clients visit the Coral World Ocean Park? Where's St. Kate's. Mountaintop, what was it, St. Thomas? Yeah. Very good. All I right. said St. James. <laughs> St. Thomas, very good. All right, next, who wants to read? Accommodations preview. Go ahead, unmute yourself, let's do it. Let me mute myself. Thank you. you did a great job. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Kind of so. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I appreciate Melissa. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What was the answer for the check your knowledge after the beaches? Uh, we, we got St. Thomas and then the other one. Is that the only one we had? True? One. St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Okay, perfect. All right. Anybody want to read? I can read. Okay, okay. go ahead. So accommodations preview. Anywhere your clients stay, they're sure to experience the serenity and vibrance of USVI. Our islands offer an abundance of family-friendly, world-class hotels and resorts, charming bed and breakfast, stylish villas and boutique hotels. There is no shortage of hotels that check all the boxes that family travelers prioritize when choosing their accommodations, as discussed in lesson three. Best value, free Wi-Fi, kids programming, proximity to attractions and activities, breakfast included, and flexible sleeping arrangements. Below is a curated list of multi-gen appropriate hotels across the USVI, but first a little bit about the hotel scene of each island. St. Thomas, known for sophisticated ambience, superb dining and spectacular nightlife. Hotels in St. Thomas run the gamut from the resort estates and small boutique hotels and inns and bed and breakfasts to private villas. St. John, hotels in St. John specializes in blending into existing natural environment of unspoiled landscapes, scenic views and crystal clear waters. Your clients can choose from a variety of accommodations, including hotels, small inns, and villas. St. Croix. St. Croix is famed for, for some of the finest boutique hotels in the Caribbean islands. Usually, hotels usually have fewer than 200 rooms. From historic inns to beachfront cottages, St. Croix specializes in unique vacation experiences, unrivaled service, and the old Caribbean charm. Beachfront, St. Croix, cottages by the sea, spread across almost two acres of beachfront property. This 27 cottage property features homespun charm, no resort fee fees, and free Wi-Fi, bikes, and kayaks. Sand castle on the beach, nestled among the palms along a pristine stretch of sugar white sand beach, is a boutique hotel or the best kept secret in St. Croix that sits close to Frederick's dining scene. The palms at Pelican Cove. Perched at the ocean, the palms of Pelican Cove offer 40 beachfront guest rooms, each with its own balcony and one and of two freestanding buildings designed with your comfort and privacy in mind. St. Thomas. 
Belongo Bay Beach Resort, an all-inclusive property that is the opposite of large impersonates hotels. There are no elevators, marble, or chandeliers, but your clients can expect comfortable and spacious rooms. Secret Harbor Beach Resort, a boutique condominium resort on the quiet east end of St. Thomas, featuring beachfront and hillside villa accommodations and two beachfront restaurants. Other options include Emerald Beach Resort, Elysian Beach Resort, the Ritz Carlton, St. Thomas, Marriott's French Men's Cove, and Sapphire Beach Condominium, Condominium Resort. Boutique style, St. Croix, the Fred. Bold colors combined with whimsical features, chic furniture, and modern comforts to create a sublime and sensory habitat as a, any put forth by the, ho the hotel that's every opened its doors in St. Croix. Uncommon Caribbean. The, the Fred, bold colors combine the whimsical features, chic furniture, and modern comforts to create a sublime sensor, sensory habitat as any put forth by any hotel for every open. Oh, I already read that one. <laughs> the Company House Hotel, newly renovated boutique hotel in the heart of the historic Christiansted. Other options, Club Comanche Hotel and Hotel Caravelle currently closed for renovation. St. Thomas, Mafoli Hotel and Restaurant. At 866 feet above sea level, the views are breathtaking from almost any angle of the property. Each room offers a king or queen bed, private balconies, additional futons, and the many suites and harbor views. Windward Passage Hotel and Casino, centrally located just steps away from the Rion duty-free shops, popular restaurants, entertainment, and nightlife. At home in the Tropics B&B, a four-room historic bed and breakfast in the heart of Charlotte, Amali. Family Focus, St. Croix, the Buccaneer Hotel, Founded in the 17th century and family run for generations, St. Croix's Buccaneer in the Caribbean's longest running resort is the Caribbean's longest running resort. Each room fe features a private patio or balcony for maximum enjoyment of the spectacular views and cooling breezes. Sugar Beach Condo Resort, a condominium resort where all tastefully furnished and fully equipped units overlook a sandy beach, stunning Caribbean waters, and a cor even a coral reef. All of the rooms feature AC, private balconies, and fully equipped kitchens. Divi Carina, all -inclusive, Divi Carina Bay All-Inclusive Beach Resort and Casino, reopening January 2020. This is the only all-inclusive hotel on St. Croix. St. Thomas. Point Pleasant Resort, the 59-room, newly renovated ocean view rooms and villas, three swimming pools, and two restaurants. All close to famed Cokey Point Beach, Margaritaville, Margaritaville Vacation Club by Windham, Windham. Located on Water Bay, this beachside location is nestled in a cove fringing, fringed by wave palm trees. Three-bedroom suites are available, and each room features fully equipped kitchens and outdoor seating area. The Ritz-Carlton St. Thomas reopening in December 2019, tucked away on the eastern tip of the island. The Ritz-Carlton St. Thomas is a beachfront retreat that feels like a private paradise for families and couples alike. Other options, Marriott's Frenchman's Cove, set to reopen summer 2020, St. John. Gallows Point Resort offers offering sweeping panoramic views and stunning sunsets from its private oceanfront location on a lushy landscape, five acre peninsula that is a five minute stroll from Cruz Bay. Budget friendly, St. Croix, Holger Dansky Hotel, situated on the boardwalk overlooking the harbor in the heart of Christiansted with a few with a freshwater pool featuring direct views of the beautiful Caribbean ocean. Club Comanche Hotel, a significant landscape along the popular Christian said Harbor Boardwalk. The hotel offers 20 rooms and suites and endless authentic charm. Kings Alley Hotel, fresh off a multi-million dollar renovation, this 21 room, three story gem is nestled in the heart of Christiansted. St. Thomas, Sam Sapphire Beach Condominium Resort. Loaded with comforts and amenities, this condo resort is situated on white sand beaches of Sapphire Beach. Emerald Beach Resort, a 100% percent 
beachfront resort that features lush tropical gardens and rooms with ocean views. Other bu budget friendly hotels include Point Pleasant Resort, Company House Hotel, and Hotel Caravel, currently closed for renovations, reopening in 2020. Frenchman's Reef and Morningstar Marriott Beach Resort, St. Thomas, and Renaissance St. Croix, Carambola Beach Resort and Spa, Davini Carina Bay Resort and Casino, St. Croix, January 2020. Very good. Thank you. Which of the following properties are reopening in 2020? All of the above, right there. Very good. You want to keep reading? <laughs> it's a I lot, can. isn't it? We have other I volunteers, can. so it's up to you. I can read one more. Okay. <laughs> Activities calendar. Okay, putting it all together. Now that you've had a comprehensive overview of the attractions and accommodations across USVI, it's time to put it all together. Below, we created some sample itineraries that you can customize and share with your clients to let them know what awaits them in America's Caribbean. Your clients can set their own pace and still immerse themselves in our unique and diverse culture. St. Thomas, day one travel day. Land at Cyril E. King International Airport, pick up a rental car or take a taxi to the hotel. Enjoy the hotel for the evening or head out for a meal. Find a complete list of dining on St. Thomas at visitusvi.com. If your clients arrive in the morning or early afternoon, they will have time to hit the beach close to their hotel. Day two, Coral World, Megan's Bay or Cokie Point Beach and Charlotte Amali. After breakfast, the whole family visits Coral World Ocean Park. Once they're done with up close animal encounters, head to Megan's Bay or for a less crowded and low key, low key beach, Cokie Point Beach, which is close to Coral World. After a packed day in the sun, your clients may want to eat close to their hotel if they're up for it in the end of the night with the fine dining and leisurely shopping at Charlotte Amali. Day three, head to St. John or St. Croix. Choose one of the day itineraries from each destination. As a reminder from previous lessons, St. John is just a 15 minute ferry right away and St. Croix is a 20 minute flight on a seaplane via Seaborne Airlines. Day four, Charlotte Amali Mountaintop and Sky Ride to Paradise Point. Head to historic town of Charlotte Amali and take part in a walking or food tour. Must see sites, Fort Christian, Blackbeard's Castle, 99 Steps, and St. Thomas Synagogue. Enjoy some duty-free shopping. The best in the Caribbean on Main Street. Take the St. Thomas Sky Ride to catch the sunset and dinner at Paradise Point or head over to the Water Island. The ferry to Water Island is 10 minutes and $5 each way. Once there, you can rent bicycles and bike ride around the island or spend a relaxing day at the beach where there are beach bars to serve you while you relax. Day five, head to St. John or St. Croix. Choose one of the day itineraries from each destination. Day six, choose your own adventure. There is no shortage of activities on St. Thomas. Mix and match and to create a perfect day in paradise. Among the recommended activities, Fantasia, Tropical Botanical Garden, a full day island tour, water tour, an ecotism tour with Virgin Islands eco tours and visit any of many stunning beaches. St. Thomas is a world renowned for, renowned for day sail trips and sunset cruises. You can sail to one of the uninhabited islands and go snorkeling or swim ashore to a beach and have your own private beach experience for the day. St. John. Day, day one travel day. Land at Cyril E. King International Airport and take a taxi to catch the ferry to St. John. Visitors can hire a private driver, including a private water taxi, to transport them to and from the ferry dock. Check into the hotel and grab a meal. A complete list of dining choices are at visitusvi.com. Day two, Virgin Islands National Park and the beach. Although visitors are literally surrounded by the national park, spending the day taking part in the endless activities. Visit the Cruise Bay Visitor Center to inquire about the many hiking trails, Cinnamon Bay, Honeymoon Beach, and more. 
after a day of hiking, relax in one of St. John's white sand beaches. Day three, Annaberg Sugar Plantation Ruins and Trunk Bay. Annaberg's Sugar Plantation Ruins is a must see for local history, local history and the views. Trunk Bay is the island's most popular beach known for snorkeling and underwater trail of, of reefs. Visit St. Grizzit Cruise Bay for the lively music and international dining scene. Day four, um, choose from going to St. Thomas or St. Croix. Day five, choose from going to St. Thomas or St. Croix. Day six, choose your own adventure. If your clients haven't gone shopping yet, they should visit Mongoose Junction, Wharfside Visit Village or Coral Bay Shops. They can also take part in a boat tour and snorkel at Watermelon Cay and many other beach activities like kayaking and paddle boarding. Nature's ultimate paradise is theirs to explore. St. Croix Travel Day One. Land at St. Croix's Henry E. Ro Rohison's International Airport or Cyril E. King International Airport. Well, they'll take a taxi to catch the ferry to St. Croix. If flying directly to St. Croix, hit one of the island's 34 beaches after, after they check into their hotel. If taking the seaplane to St. Thomas, check into the hotel and go for a meal. If a complete, a complete list of dining choices are at visit USVI. Day two, Buck Island, Point Udall and Christiansted. Take a full day or half day trip to Buck Island for some serious water activities, snorkeling, parasailing, you name it. Buck Island is tr truly a high point for major majority of visitors named by John F. Kennedy. The underwater U.S. National Monument is a sight to behold with its ultra soft white sand beaches. Crystal clear waters and extra ex extraordinary snorkeling along the reef. Before he heading to Christiansted for some casual or fine dining and major cultural attractions, check out Point Udall for breathtaking panoramic views. Point Udall is the easternmost point of the United States and US travelers who visit during the holiday season can experience the first New Year's of the United States as we are on the Atlantic Standard Time. Day three, Frederickstead, Mount Pelier, Hut Domino Club and Salt River Bay National Historical Park. There's a lot to see in Frederickstead. Must see sites include Wim Plantation Museum, Fort Frederick Museum and St. George Village Botanical Gardens. Feed the beer drinking pigs at Mount Pillar Hut Domino Club before heading for some nighttime bioluminescent kayaking at Salt River Bay National Historical Park. If this schedule is too packed, you can save Salt River Bay Historical Park for another day. Day four, culinary tour and rum beer tour. Choose from two world-class champagne golf courses, the 18-hole Buccaneer course and, our, and the 17 Carabola golf course, both with sweeping ocean views and fun for all skill levels. Even kids can take part in family-friendly rum and beer tour at the Captain Morgan Visitor Center, Leatherback Brewing Company, or Cruzem Rum Distillery. You can find one of the most vibrant culinary scenes in the Caribbean on St. Croix. In addition to food and wine fest, festivals, there are a variety of food tours, distilleries, and brewery farm stands, and of course, a range of restaurants. Eat like a local at Lorraine Chicken Shack and any of the countless eateries in Christiansted. Day five to St. Thomas or St. John. Choose from one of the day itineraries. Day six, choose your own adventure. Time flies when you're having fun. Let your clients know that they can spend their final days on St. Croix at the beach visiting museums in Frederickstead like the Lawats Family Museum, shopping and sightseeing in Christiansted, and enjoying family time at the USVI's largest and easygoing island. Events calendar. The USVI is famed for festivals. There is something for everyone in the family. Check out the USVI website for a complete list of events and mark, your cal mark these on your sales calendar. St. Croix. Jump up Fridays in Christiansted, Sunset Jazz, Taste of St. Croix, St. Croix Agriculture and Food Fair, February, St. Patrick's Day Parade, March, St. Croix Food and Wine Experience, April, Mango Melee, July, 
Lucretian Christmas Carnival, December to January. St. Thomas, the St. Thomas Carnival in April and St. John, St. John Festival, June to July 4th. Very good. Thank you so much. All right, let's go to the question. Oh, we don't have questions. So we have groups. Who wants to do groups? You want to keep reading or you want to hand it off to Amy or someone else? I can hand it off. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and finish this one up and then we'll, if you guys want to go on to the thing. Um, groups, okay, you make the booking, we'll do the rest. In addition to skip the skip gen or the three generation trip, more families are headed abroad for the reunions, destination weddings and celebration trips. In that case, the standard booking won't apply. You'll need to account for everything from a hotel and airfare group rate, meal planning, and most importantly, multifaceted um, activities that will appeal to numerous ages at once. When you book a group trip to the USVI, all the moving parts of group travel work seamlessly. Sorry about that. Um, our hotels are used to accommodating big groups. Our restaurants are varied and our beaches, activities and attractions are plentiful. Below our top picks for tried and tested group activities designed to simula simultaneously appeal to both children and adults. Half day or full day snorkel trips. The USVI is a world famous for its snorkeling. Our clear, warm Caribbean waters are filled with colorful reefs, exotic fish, sea turtles, other amazing sea life. There are numerous beaches where you can snorkel unattended, including Maho Bay, Buck Island, Water Lemon Cay, Koki Point Beach, Leinster Bay, and Francis Bay. However, half day or full day snorkel trips are ideal for groups since the excursion includes equipment, meals like breakfast and lunch, an open bar, designated snorkel, snorkel stops, sometimes off the beaten path, and the bonus of a sailboat to take passengers to each spot. For a list of qualified tour companies for each island, visit um, this activity set um, link. <laughs> okay, half day, full day sailing trips, similar to half day, full um, day snorkeling. Sailing trips provide everything you need to enjoy. One of the favorite pastimes to USVI sailing our beautiful calm waters with friends and family. What's great about sailing is that most boats accommodate six or more passengers, perfect for groups, and the equipment, meals, and activities are included. For instance, in addition to, to gourmet meals, an all-inclusive bar and a guided snorkel tour, Sweet Pea Catamaran Charters provide showers, two large trampolines, and water gear like, pad, um, like paddle boards. Recommended providers for a list of the qualified companies, look here, Rainforest Tours, USVI is famed for it beaches but its tropical rainforests are also sight to behold. In addition to the hiking trails throughout the forest, rainforest um, in Virgin Islands National Park, there's the rainforest in St. Croix and St. Thomas's rainforest leads up to St. Peter Mountain. Among the tour options are guided tours on horseback, on an ATV, from an open air safari bus, on foot, hiking, and even a zip line tour. These tours are both educational and exhilarating and are ideal for families with older children. Recommended providers for a list, go ahead and check there. Kayaking, you can swim, run, walk, or dance through the USVI, but one of the best ways for groups to experience the Bird Sanctuary in St. Thomas, Bioluminescent um, Bays in St. Croix, or one of the St. John's secluded beaches is via a guided kayak tour. The tours range from a couple of hours to full day tours and include everything from lunch to snorkeling to hiking. Historical walking tours, what is the most popular activity at family reunions, culture activities and tours, see the sales insight below. The kids would probably beg to differ. It's the beach, but today's parents want their kids to learn about the local culture and history while vacationing. The kids will mind one of the many historical walking tours available across the three islands. There's Alexander Hamilton's Christian Stead walking tour and historic Frederick Stead walking tour in St. Croix and St. Thomas historic walking tour of Charlotte Amalie. Um, plus many more educational tours that allow participants to see beyond the USVI sparkling uh, beauty and revel in the riveting past. For even more culture 
um, go ahead and visit all these other botanical gardens, etc. Walking food tours, vibrant and varied culinary culture. A walking food tour is a must for groups easily found on St. Thomas and St. Croix. Walking tours are part, um, often part food tasting and part cultural immersion, immersion tours. For instance, St. Croix Virgin Island food tours include a guiding walking tour downtown Christiansted, a crucian uh, food experience with six exclusive tastings and lessons on the island, seven flag colonial history and Danish architectural influence. Additionally, there are bus tours and private tours as well as food and rum combo tours. Bonus foodie families are encouraged to plan their trip around one of the culinary events, okay? Check our event calendar um, here and a couple of annual events. Sail insights, family reunions are major opportunities, hold reunions every year and so on, okay? All right, one more. Your clients partake in guided tours on horseback, um, on ATVs, on foot, even zip lining, sight to behold. Um, partake in guided tours, okay, on foot, hiking, even zip line, um, from which site to be um, behold? Tropical rainforest, okay, perfect, yes. One more and then we're done with this one. All right, wrap it up. It's time to target the 50-person multi-generation family booking. Congratulations, you've bolstered standing as a U.S. Virgin Island specialists are ready to sell more multi-generational travel. On behalf of the Commissioner Joseph and the entire team, we remain committed in invested, investing in education and supporting invaluable travel professional partnership. We look forward to making you and your clients feel more at home on our islands. You should feel confident letting families know the, about the unique experiences found on each island. If you're looking for authentic Caribbean culture and history, they're in they will enjoy exploring St. Croix, St. John, and the massive Virgin Islands National Park is the perfect place for outdoor escape. And Cosmopolitan St. Thomas offers top-notch shopping. Please contact um, this person if there's anything we can assist you with. Feel free to continue learning. We have one more to learn. And then um, exclusive travel advisory offer. What's that? Hmm. Let's see. All right, fill in the blanks. If they're looking for authentic, they'll explore here, here, here. So we're going to explore um, St. Thomas and St. No, St. John and St. Croix, right? And then St. Thomas, St. John, St. Croix, and St. Thomas, right? Is that it? Marnie is the first one. St. Croix here. St. Yes. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas. St. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Correct. Next lesson. Okay, so you got that St. Croix, St. John, and St. Thomas. Got it. Boop, boop, boop. All right, final exam. Fill in the U.S. Caribbean reputation. So it's family friendly, remember? Uh, top 10 safest. That's true, correct? Which of the islands? Uh, which one was this one? Ah, I got knocked out. Okay. St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Uh, which animal drinks non-alcoholic beer? The pigs? <laughs> yes, it's the which, pigs. Okay, which of the following properties are reopening? All of the All above. All of the above. The clients partake in guided tours on horseback. That's a tropical rainforest. Meals and activities which accommodate six or more. True? Is that correct? That's true. And then St. Croix, St. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas? Yes. Perfect. All right, you guys got all that? Take a picture if not. Family friendly, true. St. Thomas, pigs, all of the above. Tropical rainforest, true. St. John, or St. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas. Do, do, do. All right, guys. So we have one more. I don't know if you guys want to stick around, but I figured I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. So I will record it. If you guys wanna go ahead and stick with me, great. Um, if not, like I said, we will have it recorded. So you have the dive guide here, sales videos, et cetera, okay? So let's go ahead, we can finish it up. The Island of Romance. All right, it has seven also. So um, has anybody fixed, has anybody completed it? And if so, do you have the answers? We can kind of skip. Yeah, I have the answers. <laughs> I completed right, let's go it. Through it quick. 
You guys okay. can read it later. So you got the honeymoon, okay? Why choose it? No passport, no resident, no waiting period, marriage license and application. Walk down the aisle of your choice, experience and professionalism, okay? Are you guys okay with this? And you guys can keep up with it later? Yeah? Let's go. All right, true or false, clients should remind their guest list to pass a, pack a passport if they are a U.S. citizen. That is false, correct? Because they do not need a passport, correct? Correct. Correct. All right. Next. Oops, next. All right, island hopping made easy. Big business or big headaches? You might have heard island hopping honeymoons are the rage. You might have even planned some, okay? How big are island hopping honeymoons? Before we get into many reasons of island hopping, let's look at what behind this needs to sell trend. Um, okay, same year mega moon was entails multiple destinations. Most couples don't have time nor the bank account to traverse a continent for months on end. Thus, island hopping honeymoon, where you get married on one island, hop around was conceived. What about, um, what's great about island hopping honeymoon is that it works for both budget busting and budget friendly couples. Alike is doable in a short time frame when the right destination is chosen. So stale, sales strategy, strategy, sorry, who is the Highland Hopping Honeymoon right for? Adventure seeking couples where one wants to mostly relax on the beach, others prefer more active leisure time, couples who can't decide on a destination or planning a family moon or buddy moon so everyone can travel at their own pace. Have a variety, guys. Um, USVI is a known brainer for Island Hopping Honeymoons. Here are three top reasons. Three islands, one trip, no passport. St. Croix has the beaches. St. John, legendary, um, time-sensitive transportation, okay? Jumping from one to the other, only about a half hour. Most appeals to both adventure seekers and beach-bound travelers. Um, explore ancient ruins, be part of Mother Nature, snorkel, scuba, snooba, enjoy picnicking, etc. Okay, lots of activities. So who, who are island hopping honeymoons right for? All of the above, adventure seeking, custom cus, couples who want to relax and also active, couples who can't decide and have the family involved. Correct. Very good. All right, next. Do, do, do. All right, accommodations preview. So in St. Croix, you have the Buccaneer offers timeless romance, settling of sun over the gentle sea, historic charm of the sugar mill, uh, flowering garden, features wedding package, 9,500 for a minimum of 20 people, okay? Hibiscus wedding package, okay? The Fred, an eco-friendly beachfront boutique resort, Located in Frederickstead, contact the property for information on that. So you have for St. Croix, the Buccaneer or the Fred. St. John, you have Gallo Point, which is a private oceanfront resort, panoramic views, seashore allure, combining seclusion visitors desire with proximity to major attractions. And then you have St. Thomas, Maffoli Hotel and Restaurant, distinctive Caribbean gem, um, 860 feet above sea level, breathtaking views on the hillside, gourmet dining, and then secret Harbor Beach Resort, a boutique, boutique condo resort on the quiet end of St. Thomas, ideal for couples, families, and destination weddings. Featured wedding package, 25 guests for $4,000. That's at Secrets, and up here it was 9000 at the Buccaneer on St. Croix. All right. Which of the following types of accommodations can your clients book on all three of the islands? Is that all of the above? All of the above. Correct. So they have a variety that they can book anywhere on the islands. What about honeymoons? Um, capitalize on the year, year's biggest destination wedding honeymoon trends. Already learned how easy it is to plan the wedding 
Now you have the wedding season ushers, new customer prospecting trends. So pre-wedding planning are on the rise. Couples take time, spend the money to visit the destination prior to the wedding so they can get a feel of the venue. Why USVI? There are tons of direct flights, major getaways, accommodations to suit, suit all budgets and take advantage to build their own travel trip. Guests um, are timing a cruise to coincide with the wedding. Um, why, why USVI? The trend, great opportunity for you to build your client list and sales pipeline without waiting to ask for referrals. Let your clients know this is a trend and they wouldn't mind you asking their invite list if anyone needs extending their trip. Uh, you are USVI pro after all. Fewer couples want pre-packaged anything. Even though a couple might go to a hotel or resort that specializes in destination weddings, most don't want a cookie cutter wedding experience and they tend to stay away from hotel wedding packages. So no big deal if your clients fall under this category. USBI is teaming up with seasoned coordinators and vendors who specialize in destination weddings that are used to meet the diverse um, out of town couples. Destination bachelorette parties are also becoming popular, taking long haul trips, any chance they get, including bachelorette parties. Um, you haven't asked the bachelorette or bachelor parties, you're likely missing out. If your clients are thinking of holding destination wedding but decide not to, let them know they can still do the bachelorette party. Social media status, millennials are the biggest group turning to Instagram for inspiration for their weddings and honeymoons, often looking for a hotel or destination that will give them the most buzz worthy photo ops. Yeah. Told the clients spend more foot money on photography throughout the wedding so they can share their experience with their friends. Our islands are some of the enchanting, unforgettable yeah. island life. There's no, yeah. hey, hey. no shortage of backgrounds, beaches, etc. LGBTQ weddings can help into G LGBTQ travel market since we gladly welcome LGBTQ couples. Getting married in SU USVI is legal and easy. According to Miami Herald, today St. Croix is considered the makeup of gay tourism in USVI, where gay guest houses like Sandcastle on the beach can arrange anything from gay friendly dive trip to a romantic honeymoon or wedding package. The Palms at Pelican Cove is another welcoming gay friendly family owned resort in Christianstead. Woo. Is it legal for LGBT, LGBTQ couples to wed in the USVI? True, we gladly welcome, okay, because it is uh, US, correct? Yes, yeah. yes. Correct. Very good. Next. All right, Val renewals. Almost done, guys. Woohoo. All right, stress free wedding really does exist. Tips for renewing vows, drive awareness. Convert anniversary trips into vow renewal celebration. Creativity is the key, less stress-free. No rules or legal requirements for the vow renewal because it is US. Um, uh, ceremonies from underwater vows to ancient ruins for clients who gravitate toward localized traditions, let them know they bring home original keepsakes in a form of artisan jewelry. Uh, plant the seed by promoting your services, highlight destinations, stunning, beautiful, inspiring. Every time uh, till you see a celebrity recounting their vow renewals, let clients know they have a fabulous celebration, okay? You can promote special packages. I still do. Vow renewal at the Buccaneer and St. Croix. Your clients will receive room upgrades, airport transfers, welcome basket, personalized planning, etc. Um, vow renewal targets everyone from baby boomers to millenniums are throwing vow renewals in the market. Um, differentiate uh, bookings from standard destination weddings. Some people want to celebrate a millennial or milestone anniversary, 10, 20, 30 years. Also, they want to enjoy the or re involve the whole family, um, not just as bad bystanders staying by. Still, others like Roxana and Bill told the New York Times their vow renewal was not only a celebration, but also being 14 year breast cancer survivor. Yay, congratulations. Uh, when you make your pitch, make sure it's meaningful because your renewal goes beyond the bride's desire for white gowns and sunset vows. Okay, next. Which of the following reason is why vow renewals are easier than weddings per lesson five? Your clients don't need an officiant or marriage license, okay? They won't fight over the guest list, okay? 
All right, so clients don't need an officiant or marriage license. Very good, congratulations. Two more, baby moon, moon, boom. <laughs> Make baby moons part of your booming romance travel. How many times do you attend a bridal shower capturing a bunch of contacts fell short? Um, destination wedding and honeymoon customers should become your clients for life. Long before the vow renewal, many couples flurring on baby moon or two, a study conducted a uh, baby center, 10 parents to be plan to be plan on taking a baby moon. Um, Kara says the baby moons have managed to become an expected as bachelor parties, nine out of 10 clients will, will take a baby moon. What the trip looks like vary from couple to couple, but no one's missing the event. How many baby moons have you booked this year? That's the first I've heard of it. Um, single digits, yet um, bookings are in the double and triple digits. You're likely to leaving money on the table. Couples are major source of residual bookings, starting with trifectas, wedding, honeymoon, baby moon, and vow renewals. Flag every couple between the ages of 25 to 45 for that trifecta. Uh, follow them on social media. Unlike more detailed DWH and vow renewals, bookings and especially other moon, mega moons, mini moons, family moons, art piece, or whatever the pregnant lady wants cake. Baby moons only consist of a two-person booking. Couples are looking to spur splurge since babyless vacations will be the thing of the past. Relaxing affair, beachfront escape, delicious healthy meals, Caribbean local, um, logical choice. Um, they don't wanna stray far, okay? For clients on a budget, let them know they can combine an anniversary or birthday trip with the baby moon. Uh, R&R, rest and relaxation all the way. It's easy because it's passport free and prenatal paradise, abundance of wellness activities, yoga, et cetera. Which of the following relaxation activities can your clients enjoy during their baby moon? All of the above, right? Mm -hmm. The last one. Is yeah. it the last one? Food and cultural? All the above. It's all the above. All the above. Got it. Okay, correct. All the above. All right, last one, guys. Wrap it up. Easily sell the romance travel trifecta. Destination wedding, baby moons, and vow renewals. Congratulations, you're able to sell romance, consistently ranking up top Caribbean destinations. We're happy to help out. Again, we are number one at dest international destination because we treat over 5,000 couples who wed on our island each year at first-time brides, time-honored grooms in unique way. So congratulations. How many couples wed on our island each year? 5,000? Mm -hmm. 5,000, correct. All right, true or false, do they need a passport? No. Which of the following are aisle options during the wedding ceremony? All of the above? Mm -hmm. Who are island hopping honeymoons right for? Can't decide, all of the above. Which of the three? Beaches, world-class restaurants, unrivaled. Which one is St. Croix? St. Croix. Thomas. St. Thomas. Fill in the blank. Proximity between islands, allowing visitors three islands in as little as four, four days. Which of the following types of accommodations can your clients book? All of the above. All the above. True or false? True. True. We gladly welcome. Which of the following reasons is why vow renewals are easier? Your clients, clients. need an opinion. Which of the following relaxation can clients enjoy during the baby moon? All the above. And 5,000 wet each year. You got it? Everybody got it? Rate it. Let's do it. Good going, guys. Congratulations. Yes, we did it. Congratulations. View your resources, video tools, wedding, dive guide, visitor guides, etc. So we completed it all. Let's see what we get. Do you guys see where we get our, um, our certificate now? Let's go into my profile and see. So congratulations, guys. Um, again, uh, uh, Courtney Malpass is going to be doing the 
uh, Cunard on Friday, and then next uh, Wednesday, we are doing um, uh, Alaska, okay? If you wanna finish up um, uh, Marriott, that is on Saturday, or no, Sunday, uh, we're doing Marriott, okay? Uh, finishing it up, okay? Um, if you've missed any of my trainings, guys, they're right here on my YouTube, okay? Um, I'm going to do a flyer. I know Saturday, it's at noon. Saturday, we're doing Hawaii to finish up Hawaii. Um, this is my YouTube channel, okay? Uh, so let me share that with you. Um, let me open this up. Um, this is where I'm going to put this. France, take a, be safe. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, hold on, where's Marnie, it? where did you find your certificate at? I didn't find it yet. Let me pull it up. Mm -hmm. Hold on one sec. Um, hold on. Let me find my thing. My channel. I'm trying to find my easy one. Hold on. I think it's here. This is the shortest one we've done so far. <laughs> well, we kind this of cheated on the last part, but um, we got it done. All right. So this is my YouTube channel, guys. This is where I'm um, putting all the all the videos so you guys can catch up. So we did Marriott. Um, we're going to finish that up Sunday. I'll get the list out. Um, Saturday, we're finishing up Hawaii. Um, I didn't see the certificate either. Let's see if we can find it in here. In your profile, it says under results. Okay. So let me go back. Where am I? Okay, hold on. It says profile results. Okay. Actually, I, I found them. If you go to the re click resources, and scroll down, you'll see like it, it's kind of in the middle of the page. You just click on that. It says this diploma, and then you click on that and it opens. Do you see what I'm talking about? No. Go <laughs> back to, is to resources, and then you'll click on like resource number one. Right here, yeah, there, over two. to the right on it, yeah. and download it. Yep, you just click on oh. it. Oh. Okay, um, it's Travel Agent University that opens up, and then you see results, and then yeah. there's all the certificates. Yeah, and then you download it, and then you go to the next one. So very good, guys. Again, congratulations, everybody. Um, it if, is. if you want to, yeah, this is a tough one. We got some. So um, as I said, we did Marriott. Um, Marriott's right here, part one. So we're gonna do part two on Sunday. Hawaii, there's a few in here for Hawaii. We've got Hawaii Islands here. Um, if you wanna catch up with Hawaii, we have to do the islands now. Um, certificate part two, I think there's a, a part one, part two, and then the certificate training. And then we have um, Maui, I think we have to do um, two islands left. Um, okay. But all the other ones are in here too. If you guys want to get it, if you guys want to see um, the accountability and voucher program, if you want to do um, a uh, my team building part one here, um, if you guys want to share the presentation, all this is in here. Here's quick little short videos, how to do a credit card authorization form, how to do Viator, personalize your website commission tracking. These are short little videos so you don't have to watch an hour long video to get how to do this. Okay. Um, okay. If you have a new agent that just signed up, I have a new agent orientation right here that you can share with them. And we did the Florida key. So lots of great information here. Um, so I'm going to paste that here. Um, all the trainings will be in here. I know um, uh, Justin's done some trainings that I've included also. So make sure you follow us, okay? And like I said, um, we'll Martin. be doing a Cunard. Um, as you see here, we have uh, right here, part one. And I think we did part two. Did I not put? Yeah, right here, part two. So we got part one, part two, and uh, Friday we're doing part three, okay? Um, Martin, yeah. is part one like the shipmate part? Is that what that um, means? 
Again, this is like princess. If you've gotten into these, um, some people have different tests than other people. Um, so it was, we went through and chose a few um, uh, optional ones um, or elective ones. So it's just a matter of you know, going in and, and seeing this was the dining, I think. So with Cunard and Princess, just so you guys know, um, when you get into it, let me show you just real quick so you guys can have an idea of what we're talking about. Um, some people have different trainings than other people. And so it's like when you're trying to, to do the training, they're like, I don't have that same question. So I had to like retake one of them like five times. Um, so you just go into it and then we went into canard here. So, um, then you go to training and so here canard Academy. And I think I went into my second account, so it's probably not going to show anything. Um, but remember with princess and Cunard, you guys earn a free cruise. So, um, uh, Melissa, you can still do them though, as you see here. So now you need three required and four elective. So then you go through and you pick these. Now we did these already. This is my other account. Um, I'm a staff captain. I have two accounts because I, I try to book at my second account so I can get my 90% commission. But so we try to make sure that everybody has the same um training and then what we do is we go through the questions and then as I said my questions may be different than yours so you follow us through and then we go through and refer view it again so you get those answers okay we don't want to leave anybody out and then again we try to get the the um, same ones that everybody has because like you know you may get into and you won't have this one but then after you complete a couple more, then you go back and you'll have it again. So I think they do it so you don't, <laughs> you know, um, so we don't do this like as a group, you know, they want you to learn individually, I think. So just wanted to kind of share that with you. Okay. Um, so again, you know, that's why it's good to get on any live ones. But if not, you know, we do have them recorded now for you. And then think of ones we want to do next month. I know we want to do Bora Bora, Thailand, and St. Lucia. And then I'm figured, you know, we, if we don't catch up with everything, um, we'll add some more. So think of some other ones you want to do. Um, or we got most of the Travel Agent Academies done. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know. Of, um, BVI, please. What's BVI? British Virgin Islands. We're doing that. Um, well, we're doing Britannia, Britain agents, British Virgin Islands. British so we're doing, Virgin Island. Virgin Island. Okay, British Virgin Islands. Got it. I'll do that. We're doing Britain um, next Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday. So Britain. Oh, awesome! I'm here for that. Um, what did you have? <laughs> yes, and I'm here for it. Um, yes. I had an issue with the Marriott. Okay. I tried to log back in to finish up and it was giving me an error message and it asked me for an ID and I gave the IATA number and it said it's wrong. And I'm just like, what am I supposed to do now? Um, I don't know. I don't see a number to call. I don't know, no email else. I'm like, why they yeah. do that? <laughs> um, I don't even know where I'm at now anymore. <laughs> Which what's what's the site on for Maria? Let's see. Da, 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 Maria hello, hello, everybody. Travel hello, Travel Marriott. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Marriott Travel Agent today. Oops. All right. Good night. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate you guys. I'm so happy. So this is off my list. All right. Thank you, Felicia. Okay, so here we are. So we're going to sign in 058 24840. Hit sign in. So that's what I have to do to get inside of it. 
Yeah, but you have to make sure, I think, it re register first or something. I, I, I already registered okay. and did all of it. It just kept giving me an error Thank you, message. Chrissy. Thank you, Missy. Thank you, thank you, Felicia. All right, so when you get here, did you get to here? All right, let me do this with you. And then I think we went into right here, Hotel Excellence Training. Yeah, I try to do it from Hotel Excellence to just start in. And that's where the error message came from. Yeah, so here now you need to register here. I did all of that before. I registered and, then and you sign in. That's where I, I ran into the issue to sign in. Okay. So there it took me right in. And all then right. that's I'm that's gonna where you guys are gonna start now. Um on Sunday, I think she's doing it. All right, Stacy, um, you go into your um, like the drop down. OK, let me pull that back up like right here. You go into courses or resource. So you go into it or resources. Let's go into resources. Go into resources right here. Your diploma is going to show right here. The resources, let's go into the second one. Right here is your diploma. You click on it, okay. it downloads it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So I need to capitalize my name on this. All right. So did you get um, registered or did you get in okay with Marriott now? Yes. Perfect. All right. Oh, I have to go to two steps instead of one. Why? <laughs> All right, so um, again, guys, uh, next week we're doing um, Alaska. So make sure you guys get into um, the Rising Tide um, and get that link. I'll send it out as a reminder also uh, to make sure you guys get in okay. And uh, so we're gonna do Alaska the next two Wednesdays and then uh, we're doing Britain on Fridays, okay? So again, wow. welcome aboard everybody. If you're new, thank you for joining us. Again, they usually run about an hour to two hours. So I appreciate you guys staying on board with us. Um, but congratulations, we did it. Again, now you can go and print your certificate, post it on social media. Hey guys, I am now a um, U.S. Virgin Island Romance Specialist. Let's plan your wedding, your baby moon, your honeymoon, whatever. Okay, make okay. sure you let people know. Look at me. I'm I'm learning. I'm traveling. I'm helping people. Okay. All right. Oh, I have another okay. question. Uh -huh. um, it's about Disney. Okay. Remember, you was trying to um, finish it up, and it kept giving you trouble. Okay. And that was the last recording you did for Disney. The Disney knowledge, you didn't get the certificate for that. Okay, so Disney, um, I think we went in and finished that. Um, there was a, a couple things. And so I think it's here in my YouTube um, that we went in and finished it. So let me see, because uh, there was one, um, do you know which one you're, you're at on that one? Um, usually you um, can go here to benefits and then it will show you under benefits. Uh, you're welcome, Stacy. Have fun. Thank you guys for joining us. So right here, I'm able to do it, but you can click here and then it'll tell you what you're missing. Okay. So this was the last one. Okay. 2021 Walt Disney World update. Some people may have this one. And I think I have it in here recorded for you guys. Okay, so let's look and see. Okay. So I'm in College of Knowledge. And where do I go now? Do I go to um, benefits, you said? Yep, you go to benefits. Available benefits? Yep, and then it should show you then um, unavailable. And then you'll click on that and it'll say what you need to finish. It says benefit unavailable. Okay, so then you should click right up above. It should say, um, you know, click here, whatever. So, so like here, benefits, available benefits. 
-hmm. it should show you supplemental or right here. It should have prerequisite and you can click there. This would say unavailable and then you'll click here. Okay. And then it should show you what you need to finish. I did the Galaxy one, that one was tough. Yeah, yeah, so so this one's I probably the next all one. That stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you just go through 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And I think I did this one. I think I have it recorded in here. Which video is that? <laughs> I know, so I'm looking. Here, let's look. Um, just put Disney and see. Yeah, I don't think yeah. that, yeah, it's going to pull up all that. Okay. So one month ago, Malta, Palladium, Hawaii. Okay. Disney was a while. Hear me. Barney, if you hit the little search um, magnifying glass right next to about, I believe that searches. This for, one here? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I think it may be this one. Let's see what this one is. Disney Surf Training. Because I've been, I've, I really want to like post that one. And I'm just like, why is it so difficult? Okay, hey, this is the Star Wars one. Yeah, we kept fighting with that one. Yeah, okay. So that one was April 2nd. All right, so let's look. Disney. All right. So four months ago, three months ago, three weeks ago, three months ago, that's four months, two months ago. No, that's a presentation. All right. If not, if you need us to do it over, Disney Cruise, the assessment, certification and cruise. See which one this is. Um, so what we can do is, like I said, next month we're going to do a, a catch up on things. So I don't mind doing this one over so we can make sure. Um, yeah. I'll look and see because I, I know I recorded it. So I just have to find which one it is and then I'll rename it for you. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so again, you know, um, that's why next month I'm going to kind of leave a couple days open or I have some volunteers that said they will go ahead and help out um, and cover some things. So uh, Disney will go ahead and put that down. So we have Disney, we have Marriott, we have um, Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Princess and Cunard. So yeah, we want to get all those done. Um, Cunard, I don't know how far you guys will get Friday. Um, I'll have to catch up on that one. Um, but definitely, and like I said, maybe we'll just add one day a week to do catch up. So, um, okay. next month, I'm not going to push myself so thin. So, um, I'll make sure I'm available for you guys so we can get everybody caught up and be fresh again. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll wait till you redo the Disney because I don't want to mess it up anymore. Yeah, yeah, just wait. We'll do it. Um, and you can, you, sh you should be able to print your other certificates at least, you know. Um, I have those. It's just the last two part. Okay. That's missing. Okay. So, yeah, maybe I'll look at it when I go out um, on the, when I'm on the, my couch having my glass of wine. I'll, <laughs> I'll try to find it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, you guys. So congratulations again. I appreciate you guys sticking with us and hanging in here for us. Okay, congratulations on completing it. Thank you so much. Um, hopefully I'll see some of you at convention. If not, like I said, we'll be in and out. So I probably won't be doing much training now till next Monday, okay? Um, I'll be on a Q&A at six and team building at two. And um, I appreciate all you guys. Have an amazing um, weekend if I don't talk to you. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for the volunteers. Thank you. I appreciate you guys stepping up. Thank it, you. It's a great um, team effort. Okay. Have a great Thank night, you. guys. Right. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.